All right, guys, so day two of chapter nine in the dog's book, we're still looking at simpler related problems. Gonna look through a couple more examples in the book. So one of them is divisors and reciprocals. So it says the divisors of 360, so one, two, three, four, all the numbers that go into 360 evenly, add up to a 1,170. What is the sum of the reciprocals of the divisors of 360? Gross, right? I mean. Do you really want to write down all of the factors or the divisors of 360, flip them, and then add them all up to find out what that is? Probably not. The suggestion here is to take a number quite a bit smaller than 360, maybe a couple, do just what they're asking you to do, uh, find all the divisors, find the sum of the reciprocals, and see if there's some sort of pattern to that so we can apply it to this. So I chose to start with 12. Okay, it's got plenty of divisors, but not an unreasonable amount where we can't do it. So the divisors of 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12, okay? And if I add up the reciprocal, so 1 over 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3, etc., I get 28 over 12, okay? Well, the 12 seems to be just the number. Okay, so potentially 360 could be on the bottom here, okay? Where did the 28 come from? Well, initially, um, for this problem example, it, for example, we'll have, look at the denominators. Let's add them up. One plus two is three, plus three is six, plus four is 10, plus six is 16, plus 12 is 28. So the sum of the denominators of those reciprocals is 28. So potentially 1170 over 360. Doing one example is not enough to convince me though. I would pick one more uh, number that I know has a reasonable amount of uh, divisors and I would try it again to see if that same thing works. And then I can go back to the original, just write the answer down. Okay, so let's try one more number, 24. Here's the divisors, one, two, three, four, six, eight, 12, and 24. Here's all the reciprocals, and they add up to, the reciprocals do, 60 over 24. Again, our number is the denominator. 60, let's make sure that that's the sum of the uh, denominators here. One plus two, so three, six, 10, 16, uh, 24, 36, 60. So if I add up the denominators, that's gonna be the numerator of my answer. And the original number is gonna be the denominator. So the sum, which they gave me, the sum of those divisors of 1170 over 360. So I didn't have to do anything really with this. I could look at some smaller related problems to get to where I need to go. All right, this one is just kind of a, um, a way of looking at exponents just to remind us of how they work. We know what the rules are, guys. You know that when you multiply exponents with the same base that you add the powers together? Okay, we know that. Down here is just explaining why. So if I had x to the second times x to the third, that's really x times x times x times x times x. There's five x's there. And we're trying to find a pattern, right? So we're trying to say, hey, if I just add those two powers together, that would work. So we bring it back here. You add those up, you get 19 over 25. What if I have a power to a power? Well, in the past we learned we multiplied them. Why does that work? X to the second raised to the third is three X to the second. So if you add those up, you get six, which is what I get when I multiply those powers. Apply that rule back here. One third times six sevenths is two sevenths. So that works exactly the way we'd expect it to. Okay, one more example today. Good luck goats. This is kind of an interesting one. So in the mythical land of Kantanu, it was considered good luck to own goats. Bar, Bar, uh, Barsanta owned some goats at the time of her death and willed them to her children. To her firstborn, born, she willed half of her goats, her secondborn a third, and her uh, thirdborn she gave a ninth of the goats. As it turned out, when Barsanta died, she had 17 goats. Now the trouble with this is two, three, and nine don't go into 17 evenly. So how do I take half of 17, or a third of 17, or a ninth of 17? That doesn't work out really well. Barring, barring a Solomonic approach, how should the goats be divided? If you're not sure what that means, look up Solomon once. Um, well, let's think about that. An easier related problem would be picking a number other than 17 that those three numbers go into evenly. So I chose 18. I knew that all three of them went into 18, and 18 is quite, quite close. So half of 18 is 9, a third of 18 is 6, and a ninth of 18 is 2. So we should be close, right? Well, the real interesting part with this one is when you add those three numbers up, you get 17, which is the number of goats she had. So there we go. We've figured it out uh, using a little bit easier way of looking at it, okay? 
So I think that's all we're going to do today. Uh, check back in tomorrow for a couple more examples and then um, we'll move on to a lab.